So they'll be calling you a radical. We're going to play some baseball. Then we're going to play some basketball in this video. When I put this on there, AstroTurf, AstroTurf, this morning, I didn't know that last night the Astros had walked off. AstroTurf. So let's, I'm going to tell you a really fucking important historical story. History's going to play this out to the lie it is. By the way, Black Lives Matter keeps walking the path they're walking and isolating and turning this into a race war. They're going to get Trump elected. You know, they're, they're probably the best thing that ever happened to fucking Trump, what they're up to right now. So let me explain. I'm going to tell a story. Hopefully my camera keeps going. I can do it. First, let's play some baseball. You like that bat? Get it over here. here. I guess. Should I flip it behind the back and then hit it? Let's see if I can do it. Perfect. Fuck, how good are you, Kev? Let's do it again. Behind the back. Beautiful. You got tomato soup all over your foot. Flying shirt, nice. Fucking nice. So, now let's play some basketball. So, and then I'm going to tell a really important story historically. I'm going to make, I found this while I was walking last year when I didn't have a car. This is in honor of the great Cliff Robinson. You know, I'm a fucking, was a huge fucking jazz fan, NBA fan in those days. And those wars between the Trailblazers and the fucking jazz were epic. And that fucker would come off the bench. Fuck, he was good. I always loved to watch his play. I always loved his fucking style. So, I'm going to wear my red headband. I just, this fucker's been laying on this table for a year. Let's make a headband out of it. Why I tell this fucking incredible story. So, the Black Panther has died. What's, fuck the irony of it, it's very sad. Play Jackie Robinson. Where's Branch Ricky when we need him? So, Pee Wee Reese used to tell a great fucking story. I was a racist. That's all I knew. I didn't know any better. Jackie Robinson taught me not to be a racist. Josh Gibson, fucking Satchel Page. We're talking basketball now here, Kev. Okay. Nice. Important stuff. I'll let the sun Glen Fry. And the sun goes down. Nice. Love it. Fucking improv on Balco on chemo. So, you ain't got a fucking car. Oh, yeah, I got one left. This one's what far. You think that was given to me when I was the famous activist, which I probably still am, but you fled from me. Listen, so my whole gig was the post signature price was death by cop, social inequities. The post here, play back the tape. I was probably the most famous activist in the world. Well, what's her name? And Austria says you still are, Kev. She says, you know you won Activist of the Year four years in a row over here, Freedom Eisenblau. So, this is important. It's your pseudo facto sociology, your American manufacturer, Jesus. It's your theology. It's the ecology, stupid. So everybody's like, what the fuck with you, this Fukushima? By the way, did you get a Sierra Bacaco, Iki today. It takes a lot to make me cry. Oh, it made me cry today. What a fucking, she is a fucking beast. It, so a bee's dying, you could say. So KSL here plays a story, it's this fucking deep on Abby. Abby, the mass murderer, that he is the killer. Not one word about Fukushima. They, they go through his whole tenure as the longest serving emperor, I mean, PM in the history of Japan, Hirohito on Fukushima. Not one word about Fukushima. Even if you don't think Fukushima is doing damage in a Smith fit, you still got to mention it, don't you? I mean, they didn't even mention the tsunami or the earthquake. I mean, 
you think they got control of our media? So everybody's like, what the fuck? You've gone all in. You used to be this guy. I says, I still am. I says, so you're fighting for rights. And by the way, the NBA Black Lives Matter was hijacked. When Kevin Blanche, the Million Mass March and Anonymous, ran this movement, the social inequality death by cop, Black Lives Matter, it was grassroots. It's pure fucking astro. Oh, fuck, we knocked off our astro. Did we get fucking blood on that? It's pure astro turf. It's pure fucking astro turf. It's astro turf. Fucking guys make a 50 million a year, fucking billionaire baseball players. So, this is a great, this is important. Historically, record it, take it down. I did an interview. I used to do a lot of interviews in those days. A lot of podcasts, a lot of different newspapers, a lot of different things. Fucking, they're like, Kevin, you're the social inequality guy. You're the, you know, pro tariffs guy. You're the economist. You're the socio economist. You, you know, you're all about baseball players in 1975 made less than three t- times. Oh, you don't think baseball was king? I was always an Eddie Murray guy. He was my favorite. I was an Orioles fan. He would never do interviews with me. People would say, what? Oh, I had it figured out. I fucking love that guy. Fucking love him. I mean... They made less than... You don't think baseball was king in the fucking 70s? In the fucking 80s? NBA players made four times. They made 10,000 times. I'm like, you can talk social inequality. Oh, yeah, but the greatest violation to human rights is your life. When a doctor looks you right in the eyes and tells you you have two months to fucking live. You know, which I watched him load my dad in the body bag. I watched him load Annika in the body bag, my mate. I mean, I've been through this enough. I'm like, no, 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 no. So we were leading up to Occupy. I was leading up Post Ignorance Project. We had a massive with Anonymous, Anonymous, Aaron Schwartz and crew. March 25th, 2011 was going to be the 100th anniversary when they locked those girls at NYU in. Two weeks earlier, Fukushima happened. I go, Fukushima, fuck. Everybody's like, what the fuck? I says, no, you're going to learn one day. And this should be a fucking wake-up call to all the celebrity, you know, so-called black athlete, African-American athlete. And by the way, MJ had it figured out, not Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. I'm not going to live my life as a fucking coach. You can talk fucking red, blue, black, white. I'm not going there. This movement was powerful when I ran it, when the Million Mass March ran it. When Anonymous ran it, now, why the media all over it now? George Floyd? Thousands of George Floyd. Danielle Willard. This one started on Danielle Willard. It's not black or white. Cop fucking kills an innocent person and really has nothing to do. Well, it has zero to fucking do with that. I mean, it's astral turf. So, Chadwick dies. How old was he? 43 of cancer. It's fucking beyond heartbreaking. Now, B, that's a different story. He goes into Fukushima, the head of the IAEA. Fucking internet. Oh, no, it's all good. They keep that hushed up. But I was in Vienna. Fuck. I know all those people. I do that much work in fucking at the UN. I'm there all the time. The Blanche Box? That's mine. Nobody on earth has that. Freedom Meisenblatt, ask her on 200. 43 fucking years old. You, you, you think that wasn't environmental poisoning. When's the African-American community going to take on the environment? This environment toxic poison. Radio Roundup? Trump's kin? They fucking, two years they played a game on that fucking Roundup settlement, ain't they? They fucking settled anyway? Oh no, sorry, our bad. Let's make it a little more. I'm curious to see what Cliff died of. Very curious. Well, I'm curious to see what Trump's brother died of. I be they could say, oh, I've had this since I was a kid, and then he just abruptly, I don't know where, hurry, hurry. He's dying of cancer. He went to Fukushima. Just like Rakata Iki. You think hers? She's a beast, man. I said today perfectly, as a bee dies, Rakako Iki and Kevin Blanche are alive and kicking. Somebody says, I wonder if she even knows you. I know for a fact she does, because... My friend Yoko, who's friends with Rachel, Japanese, 
married to a Marine at Pendleton, lives over there, told me that, oh yeah, she's seen several of your videos around. In fact, a relative of theirs, third, fourth party, told me thank you. Well, you're welcome. Black Lives Matter has been hijacked. It's hijacked. 2012, you can just lay down something and then all of a sudden, boom, all that fucking work and everything that we did. It's not just about cop killing innocent people. Not just about social inequality. It's the ecology, stupid. It's about our lives. It's about death young. I mean, I think it's irony. I mean, he plays all these iconic African-American figures. Jackie Robinson was all that then some. Probably better football player than baseball player. Do you know the repression about the Dodgers, speaking of Jackie, when they came to Chavez Ravine? The last indigenous people in California lived in Chavez Ravine? A guy named Olson, oh, that no good socialist, that famous governor, fought him and fought him and fought him forever. Finally, they dug him out of there, and the Mexican population, the Spanish, hated fucking the Dodgers, still do to this day. Let me tell you about Olson. Guess where he lived? He went to high school right there at Ogden fucking High. Black Lives Matter has been fucking hijacked and they're fucking missing the point. He died at 43. <laughs> yeah, we can talk cops going into some people and that's a big fucking deal and I get it. I get it. And by the way, I support Black Lives Matter. It's not like I'm against them. You know I. They just don't support me. I want to say this last thing. Should we flip this one behind the back and hit this one? Kid fucking come out here a fucking while back. We were out there playing with my grandsons. I'm 60. I did 60 push-ups on my 60th birthday after fucking leukemia. Ricotta Iki. Oh, yeah. That's what it fights. Remember when I went in the bone marrow transplant center? The guy says, fuck, you're a beast physically, all that upper body fucking thing. You're going to need every bit of that. He comes in. This is a big time fucking pitcher. This guy can fucking pitch. I said, well, throw some fucking heat to me. He throws a pretty good fucking fastball, fucking pretty inside. Boom, my jacket fucking over my mom's house. He's like, oh. I said, well, heat it up a little more. So he throws one right down the fucking pipe fast. Heater. I'm a, I'm a notorious good fastball hitter. Over the fucking road. Probably about fuck out. I'll bet that fucker was 350 easy. Then he says, okay, fuck it. He digs in. Throws one fucking in, brush back. I used to always like that low and outside pitch. I knew it was coming. Fuck, well, that fucker had to go 400. My grandsons are like, oh my god, grandpa, they're fucking jumping up. Look at grandpa. They call me the world's strongest grandpa. I was with them all day today. That's who I care about. My grandchildren. When Million Mass March and Anonymous bring this fucking movement, which is Black Lives Matter now, apparently, and the NBA had nothing to fucking do with it, whatever, everybody. And by the way, I support what you're doing. You just don't support me. It was grassroots. It's fucking natural to us now. By the way, Again, I support the fucking movement. I just don't support the direction. Stay in tune.